In the world of health and longevity research, one name has stirred up quite a debate, David Sinclair. Noted for his pioneering work and influential hypotheses, Sinclair has recently come under extensive criticism from individuals such as Brad Stanfield and numerous other physicians. The criticism culminated with Sinclair's resignation as president of the Academy for Health and Lifespan Research. Today we delve into the crux of these criticisms, dissecting Sinclair's key claims and examining the evidence and counter-arguments that surround them. First on the docket is resveratrol, a compound that Sinclair claims activates sirtuins, proteins that regulate cellular health. While initial studies hinted at the potential benefits of resveratrol, the results in humans have been mixed. Some studies have shown improved cardiovascular function and longevity in animals, but these results have not been consistently replicated in human trials. Critics argue that this inconsistency casts doubt on the compound's efficacy. Moving on to Sinclair's second claim regarding NAD plus precursors, specifically NMN and NR. These compounds, he posits, boost cellular energy and have shown promising early results. Indeed, preliminary studies demonstrate an improvement in cellular metabolism and energy production. However, critics caution that these studies are in their infancy, and it's too early to declare these precursors as the next big thing in longevity science. Thirdly, Sinclair champions sirtuins activators as regulators of aging processes. The debate around this claim is ongoing, with both proponents and skeptics voicing their opinions. While some studies back Sinclair's claim, showing slowed aging in yeast and mice, others question the applicability of these findings to humans. Sinclair's fourth assertion involves metformin, a well-tolerated diabetes drug he believes holds anti-aging potential. While metformin's primary use is for managing diabetes, some studies suggest its potential in extending lifespan, supporting Sinclair's claim. However, critics note that these studies are not conclusive, and the long-term effects of metformin usage in healthy individuals remain unknown. Next, we have rapamycin, a compound that Sinclair claims extends lifespan in animals. While studies confirm this, the potential side effects in humans are a concern. Critics argue that until these side effects are fully understood and mitigated, rapamycin's use as a longevity booster is questionable. Lastly, Sinclair touts the benefits of partial reprogramming using Yamanaka factors to reverse aging. This claim is based on early-stage research showing cellular rejuvenation in lab settings. Critics, however, caution against premature application, noting that this research is in its preliminary stages and far from ready for human trials. In summary, Sinclair's work in the field of aging research is both pioneering and controversial. His claims, while supported by some research, have also attracted criticisms cautioning against oversimplification and premature application. Proponents believe in the potential of unlocking aging mechanisms for life extension, whereas critics urge for further research and verification. Despite the criticisms, Sinclair's influence in the discourse on aging remains significant, with his innovative research and hypotheses continuing to shape the field. Yet, it is clear that ongoing verification and scrutiny are essential, as the pursuit of truth in longevity science continues unabated.